Bascom Palmer is a very unique place in terms of its scientific endeavors and research. It is one of the only places where you see an intermingling of both the clinicians and the scientists where the communication back and forth allows for the, for the scientific community to get a better feel for what eventual applications their research projects actually have. Uh, we have over 82 full-time faculty. We have about one third are PhDs or MD PhDs who are dedicated to basic and translational research. Baskin Palmer Archaeal Microbiology is unique mainly because it's one of the only ones that still exists in, in the United States, but also because of the collaboration between the clinicians, laboratory, and research scientists focusing on one thing, that is improving patient outcomes in ocular infectious disease. Epidemiology and surveillance of organisms which are most common and new emerging infectious disease allows us to get a step ahead of the microorganisms and the physicians to be able to have a new therapy or management for new and old organisms that our common antibiotics may no longer be effective. The Ophthalmic Biophysics Center is so special because we have the capability to um, affect direct patient care. Physicians come to us with a problem. They tell us that they have this problem in the OR or in the clinic and they ask for us to come up with uh, solutions that are creative and innovative. We also have access to our own machine shop, our own electronics lab, our own mechanical lab. Not many places have all those capabilities in one location. The Ophthalmic Biophysics Center was created in 1970 by Dr. Norton, the founder of the Bascom Palmer, and uh, Lil Olney. And it was created only for one single reason, and that is to help the clinician of the institute better patient care. We are engineers, our background is engineering. Uh, it might seem not related to ophthalmology, but in fact it is. So what we do, we develop uh, a lot of devices for ophthalmology, ranging from the smallest um, instrument for intraocular surgery or uh, very sophisticated lasers. Over 350 instruments, new instruments that didn't exist were actually built, tested in their own laboratory, and actually used in the clinic or in the operating room. On one side, we have basic science, which is expanding knowledge at a phenomenal rate through uh, experiment on model organism or investigation on animal models of ocular disorder. On the other side, translating like the knowledge that we acquire in the laboratory to clinical application that can have direct impact on patients. So it's important for us to make this process of translating um, knowledge from basic science, from the bench to the bedside, uh, quick, predictable, and also easy so that we can directly benefit uh, eye care of patients. The Al Rashid Center was built as a first of its kind orbital research center where we try to fill a void in knowledge that exists in orbital diseases and conditions. A lot of people think of vision loss and visual dysfunction as only pertaining to the eye and the globe itself. But in fact, there's many diseases of the orbit, like the lacrimal gland or the optic nerve itself, that can affect a person's vision. As a bioengineer, one of the things that we do in the Al-Rashid Center is exclusively emphasize on the development of new treatments for orbital diseases, as well as some neurodegenerative diseases of the optic nerve. We at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute have started a new master's program called Masters in Vision Science and Investigative Ophthalmology. It's the first in a kind program in US. We made this program because there was a demand for it. We had the foreign medical graduate students, as well as some people with science background who for various reasons wanted to have a master's program. Our commitment is to remain the world leader in eye care treatment, vision research, and medical education. For all of us at Bascom Palmer, it is extremely rewarding to see that the discoveries to improve vision made in our laboratories are being applied successfully to our patients.